Hi, it is Avaya from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to create a painting. I'm watching the Art Sherpa, and I'll put a link to her video as she composed a painting of um, Wednesday Adams. So I want to see if I can follow along, but this time I want to follow along with watercolors because I do have acrylics, but I do like watercolors more than acrylics because acrylics to me they're a little more messier you have to take time to wash the brushes you have to wash your palette and so forth and it's a little more kind of messy than watercolor watercolor is pretty easy to clean the only problem with watercolor is that it's translucent so her style of painting with acrylic is she put layers and then on top of layers so she usually you know put a layer of color and then she can bring in white after the fact to lighten things up. I cannot do that with watercolor, so I have to m keep conscious of where my whites are going to be and I have to try to preserve those white. Um, either not paint over it or use masking fluid to preserve the white and then, you know, take it off after I, I finish the painting. So I don't really use much masking fluid. I, I try to just preserve the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do with watercolors for those who may have watercolors and not acrylic and want to do this painting. I might help you on how to how to accomplish that. So let me go ahead and speed up the video and get started. Oh, before I get started, I'm just using two brushes. This is a Creative Mark M Mimic brush. I got this at um, Jerry Artoramas online and I got it from the you know I was seeing an episode from um, the frugal crafter and she was using a set of these and they were pretty good good deal so I went ahead and got a set myself and then I have this Da Vinci um, number 10 and I believe this is it doesn't say if it's a bright but I think it might be a bright because of the small bristles so or a flat maybe a flat or a bright, but it's a number 10. So I have this set aside. And the other thing I'm going to be using is this Aquafine watercolors. So I want to use that. I have a little plate that I bought at the dollar store. So I'm going to go ahead and try to paint this. She has a traceable, so I'll put a link to her video and you can get the traceable from that. But I'm just gonna follow along to see how I can do it without the traceable.
some more color on her um, on this hand. I was observing the Art Sherpa and hers. I love the color. She has some grayish blue for things hand. And I decided to put a little more gray and more blue on the hand. I found this Jane Davenport paint over paint. This is peach. So I decided to use that for my eyes. And it really made the eyes stand out and look a little more eerie looking. I have some highlights that what I do is I buy this acrylic speedball paint and then I bought this liner mark um, liner pen or pencil or whatever you want to call it. I think it's a pen and what you do is you put a, just a little bit of white acrylic paint or fluid liquid fluid acrylic or anything like that and it does does a wonderful job of putting lines on your art media. I've played around with tons of different types of white pens. I even try to create my own and if you was w watching me on the video I was having a hard time getting the acrylic out of this and I really haven't used it that much and yet it doesn't come out. So I highly recommend if you want a nice opaque highlight for your mixed media art and um, especially for watercolors I highly highly recommend that you buy one of these pens. I'll, and I'll put the link for this if you want to purchase the the pen um, otherwise you know you can if you find it in your art store I would recommend that you get it. I have not seen this at my local Hobby Lobby, Michaels or Joann's because it would be nice if I can get a coupon for it. But in Amazon, I got it for about 6 or $7. So I really highly recommend that. If anything else but that. So I hope you liked this video. And I inspired you. And thank you for watching. Bye now.